SPP uh, amendment to be supported to introduce flexibility, as Mr. Lintz pointed out. Thank you. Two minutes, Mr. Brennan. Uh, thank you, Chair. Um, in July, in the Environment Committee, uh, we voted on LULUCF. And here, the central debate in the committee was around whether we supported the Commission's proposal to have a historic reference level, or we supported a different proposal coming from a minority of countries and a minority of MEPs for a future reference level. Uh, the S&D supported the Commission position and the Environment Committee went on to support the position of the Commission. And now we find ourselves in a strange situation because having lost the argument about historic reference levels, the minority of countries and the minority of MEPs have come back with a wrecking amendment. A wrecking amendment that would remove the guts, the heart from the Commission's proposal. If you remove the word intensity from what is in front of us tonight, what is it that you would be measuring in relation to European forests? The whole purpose of the accounting system proposed by the Commission is to measure the intensity which we use our forests in the future compared to how we used them in the past. So if this amendment goes through, then you take the heart out of what it was at the Environment Committee and at the Commission level, we were trying collectively to achieve. So please, when it comes to the vote on Wednesday, support the motion as it is, produced by the Rapporteur from the EPP. It's a compromise, but it's fine. We all agreed it, we can work on it. But there's only one amendment, notice, only one amendment, and that amendment must be opposed because it represents narrow-minded individual country interests support the Commission proposal, which is for an EU-wide climate change response in line with the Paris Agreement, keeping the word intensity. Uh, thank you. I see a blue card uh, for you from uh, Mr. Frederley. Would you accept it? Yes. So, Mr. Frederley, please. Thank you, Chair. It's, it, it's with some surprise I hear, dear colleagues, strong words about a few countries. The few countries you're talking about are the few countries who have been 